Hey there, sweet friend. How are you? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. All right, we're checking in with your energies. Let's see what's going on and how we can best support your journey for our Pisces as we're wrapping up the weekend. All right, show us what you got for us, spirit, and what Pisces need to know and how to best support their journey. Queen of Cups and Four of Pentacles. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. The world. Okay. The Empress energy. I like it. Ace of Pentacles. This is great. Let's keep going. What else? Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands has been coming up a fair bit in your readings, actually. I don't know if this is goal-oriented. Um, trying to get through or past something and just be, you know, a bit more energized or persistent or <laughs> it's telling me flamboyant, which is interesting. Another, You've been giving me interesting words lately. Uh, six of Swords. Wow, the lover's energy and the nine of swords. Bottom of the deck. Wow, seven of swords. Really? Come on. I'm just like, can we just get like this amazing love story or, you know, next part of our life that's just like, bam, wow, wild. I, I feel, feel like the energy is just kind of yes and then no. Yes, then no. It's kind of delivering and then kind of taking us back a bit. Sorry, guys. I just, I mean... This is what spirit's coming through. So let's see what the messages are um, and how we can best support you. But right now, um, there, there seems to be something from your past that you're you're measuring, you're looking at, you're assessing how you feel about this, the situation. I think there's part healing, uh, there's part supporting yourself. I think you're also trying to ground into your own sense of stability, mind, body, and soul is kind of the energy that's coming through with this Queen of Cups energy. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles in the world, there's, you know, parts of something or a situation um, or even a lifestyle, so to speak, that something is shifting um, and, and moving forward in a space to open a new door whatever that new door is, but wherever it's leading, you've got the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So there seems to be some pressure with, you know, I think it's not taking charge, so to speak, but I think there's a part of you that It's interesting because I think, I feel the Empress is nurturing energy, but I feel there's something about you being nurtured here um, as you're expanding into something. Um, yeah, there's like a beautiful version kind of opening up or a beautiful opportunity that's opening up here that's being created, but... Yeah, I just keep getting like there's a part of you that just also needs this nurturing. And with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, wherever this new place that you're going or this new opportunity that's presenting itself or a position that you're choosing to take in a certain situation is you're going for the new, you're going towards the, the things that yes, provide stability, but that there's something new about this energy that's coming in or that's presenting itself that seems to be a little on the burdensome side. It's um, There's a little pressure there. What I like about this pressure though is that it still allows you to keep moving forward. It's not something that's, you know, it's something that that's shifting because it, this new opportunity I think is is part of that the sign spirit's been giving you or wanting to present to you that the burdens that you're feeling, the responsibilities that you're feeling, any stress that may come with it, it's kind of letting you know that this is going to help and support the aspirations that you have with this Queen of Wands energy. And then with the Six of Swords and the Lovers, it's 
It's the measures that you're taking to go where you need to go and to finally – there's a little bit of strength in thinking here with the Six of Swords. It's like you know that to give yourself some peace uh, – And to make new plans, this, there's a part of you that's got to take the action and go after it. It's like you've got to put things into practical motion. It's not just thinking about it or pondering on it. It's like making making that move to do it and kind of step into that step into that space and, and, and kind of have faith with what that is. And just I think there's a part of trust with it as well, okay? Um, some of you could be traveling. And then you've got the lover's energy with the nine of swords. So this could be about some choice or some concern around a dynamic or a union or partnership of some kind. Um, perhaps looking at how to bring something into balance or the choice that you're making. Maybe you're going towards a new partnership. Um, but whatever this decision-making process is, there seems to be some worry and concern around it for you. And then you have the seven of swords. Underneath, you've got the four of cups and the ace of wands. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Hangman, and the th uh, the Two of Pentacles. Usually, yeah, we'll look at the three. But, um, yeah, Seven of Swords, Four of Cups, Ace of Wands. So this could be part of the decision-making process, right, that you need to put some form of plan in play and maybe to do that or to shift something that you're connected to or wanting to take the chance on, this burden could be it's something that you've got to keep to yourself to make this move or to take this, make this change and shift, which for you, you might be feeling a little bit of pressure of keeping it to yourself because you feel like maybe you're um, – potentially betraying in some way or you know hiding something I'm just feeling though if that's what you're doing it's kind of like well I'm applying as an example these these are just examples I'm putting out there so we can make sense of the situation it's kind of like oh I'm applying for a new job but I'm not going to tell my boss that yet right like I'm going to put myself out there see what opportunities coming about but it's putting pressure on you for this new beginning for this change that you're seeking to make or seeking to step into um and you could be feeling the pressure with that, but it's you know that that's just the road you've got to take because you're not very fulfilled perhaps where you are or you're not feeling fully in a place of like this is where I want to invest my time and energy and you're trying to find or source a new way forward um, to get, you know, to really pursue the things that do get you excited. So if that's what's happening here, it, it could be just weighing on you. That pressure could be weighing on you in terms of, making these moves or making plans that you've got to kind of keep to yourself, which, yeah, I think it, I'm feeling like it's a little bit outside what you would normally do, but there's a part of this process that you're taking or steps that you're taking in support of yourself. Okay. It's more a strategic plan, but again, there's pressure with it, understandably, especially if it's something you have to keep hush hush. Um, but again, whatever this is, uh, there, there's energy here that's really talking about, the choices that you're making um, or the choices that you want to, the new places that you want to pursue, the new things that you want to go towards. Let's, um, let's have a look at where this is going and then we'll get you some advice. Where is this going? Thank you, spirit. Just put this over here. Okay, so there is something that you're walking away from, you're shifting, moving on from, that's putting you in a position of following your journey, following your path. You've got the tower energy. The seven of swords kind of flipped over again. And then you've got justice and hermit just flipping, but... Okay, and then the Ten of Cups. So again, what you this is just further confirmation here that whatever that you may be doing here, you're 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 making a change and you're making a change because you know where you want to position yourself, you know how you want to feel, and you know what you're capable of, right? But again, it's there must be some change or some significant move that you're making. Um 
to bring something back into balance and bring something back into life that is supportive for your ten of cups energy, whatever that is. Um, so maybe whatever that you're doing might be surprising to some people. Maybe you're in surprised in yourself of what you're doing and how you're changing things. But this move, while strategic and supportive for you, could also be a pretty big shakeup that someone's not expecting you to make. Uh, and you just know even in what that may do to like a certain dynamic or situation, you know that this is in the betterment of your life and your future and wherever you're going. But it's still like, you know, they say that like example resigning can be one of the most stressful things to do, right? Um, it's the same thing of going up on, on stage. Uh, same thing if you're choosing to leave a relationship or a marriage or leave, you know, the home or kind of just move on from wherever that you are that people just aren't expecting. And I feel like this is like kind of the change that you're making. It's something that would surprise someone else or they're not expecting, but you've had to really sit back and look at your life, where you want to create, where you want to build, where you may be holding on to things you know that you kind of need to, to let go of to really embody this empress energy and step into this nine of pentacles, independence, successful space um, of who you truly are ultimately at the end of the day. But there seems to be a, a new beginning or a new um, opportunity that's presenting itself that feels really supportive. But amongst the supportive energy, and you know that may be right, there's also pressure. There, there's pressure from this. And like I said, I think there's parts of it that you might be keeping to yourself um, as you're navigating this. Let's get you uh, some advice. Some advice, please. 53 magician and the mirror so this is powerful energy that's number eight so number eight is like karma reciprocation um it's kind of like what you put out what you get back so be mindful too with your manifesting as well because uh, it's going to reflect back so that's going to be an important piece to the puzzle i love it and then you've got 22 yin yang so that's balancing energy that's energy of you know the sun the moon there's um hey we do have the uh, eclipse um the lunar eclipse coming on in there's uh with this full moon so yeah there, there's um there's something balancing out and there's something quite masterful here with this yin yang energy i quite like that whatever that is so again i feel like spirit's asking you to trust in the process you're going to have everything available it's interesting you've got the magician and the magician here so again, it's like the resources that you need or are desiring, it's kind of like we put, put it out. And I think this has been coming up a fair bit in your readings. You're going to be supported in these changes through spirit. The big part is going to be what you're putting out in your thoughts around a situation that's going to just – sometimes that allows us to see things that are available and opportunities that can be presented to us because if we're closed off or stressed out about it, sometimes we can't see what's right in front of us that or, or be solution-driven, right? So I feel like that's part of it because it's kind of letting you know, yeah, you can kind of create what you want right now. Um, and this yin-yang energy is a powerful force. This could also be like a lover's energy, a union, um, a divine partnership, a divine connection, um, but something too that's bringing balance balance and peace. I just feel like these energies are very similar in terms of the, the, the colors of the, the balancing out, um, fire and ice kind of energy, you know, water and fire, whatever you wish to, to look at. <laughs> I'm just, how random is that? I'm thinking like way back in the day, the Revlon had that fire and ice. Do you remember like that perfume or cologne or something? Really funny. I don't know why that's coming in so random. Um, but yeah, the, that's, um, that's, it's a good thing, guys. Like wherever you're going, um, again, spirit's backing you. Spirit's really, really backing you up here. Um, for some of you, you could be coming into, you know, to get to this powerful space of what it is that you want, this, this union, this partnership, this amazing, you know, purposeful um, path that you're going on. I think that that it keeps showing up here that that change is inevitable to get here, okay. And um, there's some things that you may be holding on to that that are at time that is at a time that need to cycle out. So you get to choose what that story is going to be. Is it going to be one that you're going to be empowered and nurture self, or are you going to allow spirit just to go? You know what? I, we're not doing this anymore, and and makes it 
you know, sometimes a little bit even more uncomfortable, but I just feel you've got opportunity right now to look at the situation, to figure out, you know, how to, how to, what you need to put aside example, if it's money right now, um, you know, just, this is about setting yourself up for success because everything is, seems to be showing up here in where you're leading or where you want to go. Uh, so it seems like there's something that you are wanting to manifest here, Pisces. And yeah, I, I'm just seeing success at the, on the other side of this. It's, there's just, you know, g game moves, so to speak, uh, that you need to take to get there, but a very positive, um, supportive energy around you to help you along the way. So we're going to leave it there, dear friend. Um, yeah, I will catch you again for the week ahead and um, the energy update, which will be released in the Soul Collective. All right, friends, catch you later.